guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So I'm going to film a very quick drugstore haul with some brand new products I just got in the drugstore in the States today. But first thing I want to show you guys is my amazing shirt. Can you see this? Look! It says, it's a Tanya thing, and then this bottom part says, you wouldn't understand. And I have a little crown. I got this in a sweater and a t-shirt. No, I'm not full of myself. I got it from this cool site called Teespring. I think that's what it's called. I'll link it down below. They do a whole bunch of different like t-shirt campaigns. You can create your own. And then if once enough people have purchased it, the whole order fills and ships. I am in love with this one. Yay! So I just want to show you guys that. Now let's get into the haul. There have been a whole bunch of newer products coming out in the drugstores in the States. One of those products that I wasn't totally sold on until I swatched them recently was the new L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Blushes. These are the two I got. I got the lightest and the deepest. There's only three shades in this. There's soft peach, soft pink, and then soft berry. These are supposed to be kind of like HD essential, essentially HD finished blushes. They're very creamy and they're super pigmented. You need so little of this product. Like even that, that little drop you see there is going to be a lot on my hand. So I've blended, I've blended it out a lot. As you can see, it's almost got like a staining effect. It goes from a cream to a very soft, like almost gel textured. It's really pretty. And then on the cheeks, it's gorgeous. And this is soft berry. This one's got more of like almost a jelly-like finish. That's soft berry really sheared out. Now these are very buildable. Like I'm using the littlest amount here, but you can use a lot more than the littlest amount. That's just two more drops I'm adding there. And you can really build these up to get some really nice color from them. There you go. See how pigmented that is? So these would be amazing. These do set. I'm gonna build up soft peach a bit for you guys. So there's soft peach built up and soft berry. These on the cheeks do set really, really nicely. I'm actually wearing soft peach just on the apple area of my cheeks today. And then I'm wearing another new product layered over that just because, I don't know, I got so much, I got two new blushes and I couldn't pick between them to figure out which one I wanted to wear today. So I ended up putting both of them on. All in all, I actually really do like these and they are really pricey for drugstore. These are $12.99 in the States. I don't know what these are going to be in Canada. I'm sure they're going to be pricey. But I do overall really, really like these and they really add vibrancy to your cheeks, which is why I'm a big fan. So if you like cream products, I do suggest picking up these blushes because they are definitely a hit as far as drugstore cream blushes go. Next, I got two of the brand new Maybelline color tattoos from the new collection. I was not super impressed with the new collection. They all just seem very boring to me. The two that kind of stood out, which honestly I don't really like either of them, are Vintage Plum number 90, which is this really pretty, it's a really pretty gray plum color. Now I've already played with this one, and like I said, I'm not a fan. I'm just finding it a little bit streaky in application, and... I don't know. I mean, there's nothing wow factor about it. It is matte. Maybe that's why I don't like it because I don't wear a whole lot of matte eye products. But that is Vintage Plum. And then the other color I got is Chocolate Suede. Now, I don't know if this actually came out in this collection because this one's not matte at all. It's kind of like brown with a really pretty gold sheen to it. And this one isn't as streaky as the other ones. I swatched all of them in the store, and out of all of them, they had like testers out. Out of all of them, Chocolate Suede was my favorite. Vintage Plum in the store wasn't as streaky as it's showing up now when I've gotten it home. But, I mean, if you like matte products on your eyes, these are great matte bases. I'm just not a fan. If you like just color tattoos in general, then I would suggest go with something like Chocolate Suede. I think there's also one that I tried Creamy Beige that I was considering getting, but I have so many beige toned color tattoos already that I just kind of sort of stayed clear of that one. So other than, the, other than that, um, I would say Chocolate Suede is definitely a hit for me and then Vintage Plum is a miss. Just quickly to nail polish, Maybelline Color Show came out with a new line called Veils, and these are supposed to be like shimmery top coats. I got two of the colors. I got Teal Beam, which is the more tealy green one. Excuse my nails, because I haven't done any cleanup on them. I'm wearing something else on my nails, but this is the tealy green one. There's also a blue and a purple, and then this one is the one I was really excited about. This is Crystal Disguise, and it's kind of like a holographic opal color. It's gorgeous. I think it's gonna be stunning on the nails as an over top coat. So these were out. These are new, so go pick them up if you like them. 
So the last thing I have to talk about is the new Essence Summer Collection. Essence always launches these mini collections and people just overpass it because it's Essence and you think it's no good. But it's amazing. Honestly, these are some of my favorite products. So the first thing I got from this new Beach Cruisers collection is the blush, which they only came out with one. And it's a multicolored blush and it's called uh, I Heart Summer Break. Look at this. Starts at peach, goes into pink, and goes all the way to like a very deep toned color. I'll do swatches of each individual area so you guys can see. Now, Essence blushes are a little bit powdery, I have to say, but you're paying next to nothing for them. So, with a brush, I find you get less powder than when you use your fingers. That's the three colors separate there. You can see it's really nice three individual color shades. And then I'll do one kind of all swirled together so you can see what the difference is. That's the swirl together. Look at how pretty that is. So this is the other blush I am wearing on my cheeks today. I just swirled all three colors together and I put it over top of the soft peach from the L'Oreal. I'm loving the way it looks. The other thing they came out with in this collection was a bronzer, Beach Cruisers bronzing powder in the color Life is a Beach. There was only one color and I'm not impressed with this at all. As you can see, it has a really big shimmery palm tree in the middle and that shimmery palm tree is like almost a highlight tone color and super glittery and then the brown on the outside is quite light and very matte but you can't really blend them together because the palm tree is raised so you can't really get the, the you know the two colors blended together and so for me I just am not a really big fan of this product I wish they had designed it differently I think maybe once you burn, work down the palm tree in the middle it might be pretty but to get to that point, I don't know. This is just kind of a miss for me. And the last thing that came out in that collection are nail polishes. These are textured nail polishes, which you guys know right now I'm kind of obsessed with. They're called the Sparkling Sand, and I got all three because they're so cheap. It's like two bucks for a nail polish from Essence. This one is I Heart Summer Break, which is this gorgeous, ready coral color with kind of like silver sparkles in it. It is the one I'm wearing on my finger. Ignore the non cleanup nails. I still have to clean them up, but that's it right there. Then the coral one, which is number two, is Girls Just Want to Have Sun. And this is a coral with um, like gold and pink sparkles in it. And I'm not wearing this one. I haven't tried this one yet. The last one is the teal one, which is Keep Calm and Go to the Beach. This is a beautiful teal color with green and gold sparkles. I'm wearing this on the majority of my nails today. That's what that one looks like. It's so pretty. These really do have a very nice texturized finish. I would say that the red one, which is I Heart Summer Break, has more sparkle to it than the teal one. The teal one has more of a dimensional finish, but not as much sparkle. Either way, I am obsessed with this formula and these colors. I think they're beautiful. If you like them, go out and pick them up because as always, these collections are really limited edition. That's it, that's all guys. Really small drugstore haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey, we play it like